Do you know where this noble wanted to meet us? I do. The Comte Boisvert invited us to his mansion, not far from here. I pray he clears up the deaths of my messengers, as promised. Lead the way. Welcome, my friend. Thank you for seeing us, Comte Boisvert. The honor is mine. Please, sit. It's an honor to assist two such distinguished guests. We appreciate your help, Comte. The death of Lady Montilly's servants must weigh heavily on you. Have you heard of the House of Repose? The Assassin's League? My contacts obtained a copy of a document in the archives. Contract for a life. The House of Repose is hereby sworn to eliminate anyone attempting to overturn the Montelier's trading exile in Orlais. Overly complicated assassination plots are part of Orlesian politics, I take it. They're all too common, I'm afraid. The contract was signed by a noble family. The Du Paraquettes. But the Du Paraquettes died out as a noble line over 60 years ago. Indeed. But the contract was signed 109 years ago. How can a family try to kill you after they died out? The Du Paraquettes were our rivals. They drove the Montelliers from Val Royaux. This contract was drawn up over a hundred years ago, but it wasn't invoked until I tried to overturn my family's exile. Unpleasant though it may be, the House of Repose is merely fulfilling its contractual duty. If the people who wanted your family dead are gone, why are the assassins still after you? A contract is a contract, Inquisitor. Or legion businesses live and die by their reputations. The entire guild's welfare would be endangered if an agreement was tossed aside on a whim of time or fate. She's quite right, Your Worship. The House of Repose is doing what it feels necessary. By its standards. I'll do what I can to stop these attacks, Josephine. Thank you, Inquisitor. I think I may know how. The Du Paraquettes still have descendants under the common branch. If we elevate them to nobility, a Du Paraquette could annul the contract on my life. Uh, that will take time, Lady Montilier. Time during which the House of Repose will be obliged to haunt you. Will they now? You are exceedingly well informed. You're not to have said you'd heard rumors at best. A bit of subterfuge. This contract on your life is an ugly business. One the House of Repose deeply regrets. But this is Orlais. Even an assassin's word is his bond. Does Comte Boisvert actually exist? Absolutely. The Comte's offer to reveal the killers of Lady Montilly's messengers was genuine. So was his information somehow. A end to be tied up later. The House of Repose has some nerve sending a killer to greet us. Hardly anyone in the League isn't trained for this, Inquisitor. The contract on Lady Montilly's life is so unusual, we felt the courtesy of an explanation was in order. It is appreciated, Monsieur. Your idea to seek out the Duparaquette to revoke our orders is uh, an interesting one. I wish you luck. I did not come to shed blood today, Inquisitor. Only to speak. Might I pass? Why warn us about your contract and let us go? In Orlais, it is only decent to inform those involved in a contract when extraordinary circumstances conspire. And the Guild's reputation would suffer if you ignored the contract. I quite understand. Thank you, my lady. May we conclude with my departure? Not on your life. As you wish. That's the last of them. I thought the Comte was rather insistent you have that discussion without us. 
The fault is mine. You all put yourselves in danger here because of me. Let's discuss this problem in safety, Inquisitor, at Skyhold. Do you hear something? Mm. Oh, goodness. Uh, Comte Poivre, is that you? Mm. Oh, the lock's been broken off. We'll find a saw. Mm. I realize the cabinet is quite valuable, Comte, but surely... A... locksmith, then? As you wish. What did the Seeker say? Lady Cassandra feels her connections with the Navarran court wouldn't be of use, my lady. <sighs> of course she does. I'm so sorry, Inquisitor. I never thought my family's trading status would trap us in an assassin's plot. You couldn't have known it would lead to this House of Repose coming after you. It still shouldn't have slipped past me. I've tracked down the last du Paraquettes. If they become gentry, they can annul the contract on my life. We'll require a noble from Val Royaux to sponsor them, a judge to provide documents, a minister to ratify them. It's so like you to take the longest course of action, even when your life is at stake. I assume you already know everything about this mess. There is a faster way, Josephine. The original contract on your life is in the vaults of the House of Repose. If my agents infiltrate it and destroy the original, the assassin will have no obligation to chase you. Liliana, please. I want no more bloodshed over a personal affair. Don't be so stubborn, Josie. How long will it take you to gather these favors in Val Rayo? Give me some time to think this over. I'll post a watch on our ambassador in case the House of Repose visits. I appreciate it, but I still believe elevating the Duparakets will solve this. First, we need to perform some favors in Barwayo. I'd be happy to discuss where we could begin. Any news on the House of Repose, Inquisitor? Why did the Duparakets hate the Montilliers so much they set up a permanent assassination watch? A Montillier and a Duparaket fell in love. A young couple, pledged elsewhere, attempted to elope. The whole thing ended so violently, it's a wonder any survived. It's fortunate the Duparaket's descendants hold no grudges. What if the Duparaket's refuse to aid you? I've already contacted the Duparaket's Inquisitor. They're ready to help us. It will be a long road, but a lordship is a chance to restore a proud lineage to their heirs. Besides, I've promised them a heavy bag of coin once this is over. How exactly does one turn farmers into members of the upper classes? There are procedures for granting honored citizens of the Empire the title of Lord or Lady. Very long procedures. And so much paperwork. I've called in a substantial number of favors just to cut through half of it. Are you sure the House of Repose will forget this assassin contract on a farmer's signature? It's perfectly legal. In Val Royo's noble circles, a written word is a bond. Besides, the Guild would never risk being so unspeakably crass. These assassins are afraid of being seen as impolite. Breaking one's public oath or bond implies a certain... poverty in our life. A common merchant may lack the resources or manners to fulfill a debt, but among the guilds, it would be shameful. You said I'd have to do some favors in Val Royo if we want to make the Duparakets lords. The Countess Dion is our first step. Her lover, a mage from the White Spire, is missing. Bring her news of him, and she'll be very amenable to sponsoring the Duparakets as lords.
I've arranged an accord between the Marquis and the Dowager. Wonder of wonders. Perhaps they can be useful to us after all. the Grand Ball and the Winter Palace, you stumbling fool. Is that why I've had nothing but silks on my back for days now? One must be on their best behavior if one is to be seen and to profit. All for your pretty empress. In the mists of war, civil and otherwise, oh no. I dress for everyone. Those who oppose thee shall know the wrath of heaven. Field and forest shall burn. Yes, shall what do you want? Inquisitor, what an unexpected pleasure. You must have had a long journey to the city. Might there be any news from this house? Here's a letter from Ellerly. He's safe with his family in the Dales. Oh, my Ellerly. Oh, bless you. The Dions will sponsor the Duparakets as a family deserving of a noble title, Inquisitor. You have my word. Now, please, forgive my hastiness, but I must read Ellerly's words. Make her keep you. Good day. Calling you Inquisitor now, yes? I heard from Mother Giselle. She suggested that perhaps some of the faith have been <sighs> misguided. I hope I hope this was meant to be. Blessings upon you. Is there Inquisitor. something you need? I cannot in yes, good conscience you. withhold that. It's true. Oh yes. And you? Of course. Inquisitor! What happened here? The House of Repose decided to pay a visit. The guards arrived in time, but I should have guessed the assassins would infiltrate the servants. Are you sure they didn't hurt you? They only frightened me. It was all so sudden. Leliana assigned people to shadow me. They appear to have saved my life. I owe you everything, Sergeant. Only my duty, Ambassador. I'll talk with the spy master about these murderous louts. She'll find how they got in. Any news on the House of Repose, Inquisitor? What's the next favor we need to get these Duparakets a lordship? 
We need a judge of the royal court to procure documents acknowledging them as nobility again. Cresswood has had no further trouble with the undead. After what happened, it will take time for the village to recover. Holding for the reply. A few minutes, please. Any news on the House of Repose, Inquisitor? What's the next favor we need to get these Duparakets a lordship? We must persuade Minister Belize to ratify the papers. She's in charge of these matters of rank. The Minister will be at a small fete thrown by the Marquis with Scott. I'll get you an invitation. Any word? Nothing yet. Thank you for seeing me in private, Minister Belize. I chastise you for taking me from the party, Inquisitor, but the Marquis throws such dull affairs, it's hardly worth it. I assume you wish to discuss your petition to elevate these du paraquettes to a minor lordship. Tell me, why should I allow you to pollute the Orlesian nobility any further than it's already been muddled? Surely even a minister could do worse than have the Inquisition in her debt. I am a well-positioned woman. I require something more concrete than vague promises of future gifts. 
And do not attempt to charm me. I am far too old to tolerate it. What can you possibly provide that will make your petition worth my effort? Diplomatic connections that reach far beyond the boundaries of Val Royale, perhaps? Hmm. I might make use of your ambassador. The Montilliers aren't what they were, but at least they're from proper stock. Arrange for me to be introduced to the court of Antiva. I hear winter is most pleasant by their sea. Very well, Inquisitor. Should you fulfill this bargain, I shall raise the Duparaquettes into lordship. I must return to Val Royale to see that everything is in order. Please join me when you can. I received a letter from the House of Repose, Your Worship. They acknowledge their contract is null and void. There is no longer a price on my life. They also send their compliments on how handily you dispatched their agent pretending to be the Comte. I'm glad you don't have to live your life looking over your shoulder anymore. I regret we were forced to deal with them. That you are endangered by my part in the game. Did I ever mention I used to be a bard? You were a singer. Bards entertain the Orlesian court. They sing, play music, make charming conversation, and spy. Many young nobles put on a mask and practice playing the game in such a fashion. What made you interested in becoming a bard? I was attending a university in Val Royale when I learned about bards. There was such an air of romance about them. Stories of secrets, trysts, and fascinating people. A group of us, young gentry from Antiva, decided this exciting life was for us. You seem a bit... steady for such an outgoing lifestyle. <laughs> the life of an entertainer didn't suit me at all. During one particular intrigue, I encountered a bard sent to kill my patron. We fought. Or perhaps scrapped is the better word. Both of us terrified. We were at the top of a steep flight of stairs. The other bald threw a knife and I pushed him away from me. You can imagine the result. You were only defending yourself. But it was such a waste, Inquisitor. When I took off his mask, I knew him. We'd attended parties together. If I'd stopped to reason, if I'd used my voice instead of scuffling like a common thug, I'll always wonder who that young man would have grown into. He seemed willing enough to murder you for the game. Perhaps. I feel I'm the last to judge whether or not he would have actually used the blade. In all the commotion... Uh, forgive me, I don't believe I ever thanked you for helping me with this. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. Such a gracious woman deserves nothing less. I... Such talk. I'm quite overcome. Should I stop? Oh, no. I mean, yes. I meant... No, I, I don't... Well, if you meant to draw a blush to my cheeks, you've completely succeeded. Let's return to Skyhold before anyone notices. <laughs> 